Hello, it's my pleasure to present my work, Improved Model-Based Learning with Data Augmentation for Quantitative Accessibility Mapping. With no accessibility distribution, we can calculate the induced field perturbation using the forward model, which is a double corner convolution. In the field to source inversion, it involves division of the double corner in the case space. As we can see, the double corner have value of zero in a conic surface in the case space. So the field to source inversion is ear paused. There are many conventional methods to do the QSM reconstruction. The first is acquire multi-orientation data. However, it's time consuming to acquire the data set and the invisible in clinical practice. In single orientation QSM reconstruction, TKD and recognition approaches are widely used. However, these approaches have difficulty to get a robust QSM in clinical practice. In this example, the patient have a surgical planning. As we can see, the reconstructed QSM have striking artifacts and black shading artifacts around the bleeding regions. In recent years, there are many deep learning based QSM methods are proposed. This method usually using the Cosmos map as a training label or using synthetic data for network training or using novel network architectures. Last year, we proposed a model-based learning for QSM without the need of QSM labors for network training. However, this method are limited for, Cos for Cosmos data for network training. It's time is consuming as expensive to acquire the data set. And also the Cosmos map contains errors from the calculation. The synthetic data for network training suffers from the domain shift induced performance drop. Also, the model-based learning, we found it doesn't work well in pathological cases. In this paper, we want to make the model-based learning better. Our idea is using input perturbations to improve the network robustness. We generated a perturbed QSM using simulated suspicious sources with high suspicious values. We perform the double convolution to get the perturbed field. The measured field and the augmented field are inputted to the convolutional neural network to get the QSM output. In the loss function, we impose the data consistent loss on the QSM output. At the same time, we impose the, the total variation loss on the QSM output to suppress the noise between the two QSM outputs and the perturbed QSM, we have a consistency regularization loss. We evaluated the proposed method using multi-orientation datasets and the 2019 QSM reconstruction challenge. Based on the quantitative evaluation, the proposed method achieved the high quantitative matrix scores. In the visual comparison, the proposed method also can greatly suppress the artifacts which are appearing in TKD MADI DRP UQSM results. In the evaluation of 2019 QSM reconstruction challenge, we compared with TKD MADI QSM net, deep QSM, QSM, and fine. As we can see, the TKD and the QSM net, deep QSM, XQSM have the striking artifact around the classification regions. The proposed method have high quality and not showing the artifact. Here we show the QSM results of the four data sets with different noise level and noise image contrast. As we can see, compared with the ground truth, the proposed method achieved high quality QSM result, but at the regions of the vessels and the classification, it didn't perform pretty good. We compared with all 17 supplemented deep learning based method, the proposed method can achieve the second best in all metrics. We here we compared with applying data augmentation and not applying data augmentation. In the LAMP profile, the blue curve is the ground truth. The yellow curve applied the proposed data augmentation. The red curve didn't apply data augmentation. We found that the proposed data augmentation can increase 
the classification suspicity estimation, but still underestimate the classification suspicity values. And thank you for your attention.